Build Show today, we want to show you what I think is probably the prettiest chimney I've ever seen in my life. Coming to you from a Brian Long job. Let's get going. All right, guys, we're back with Brian Long from Brian Long Custom Homes. Brian, we did a video, uh, a long video, on your stucco rebuild here. But while I was on site, I was absolutely speechless to see these chimneys. And I remember them being stone before. Right. What's, right. This, what's the story here? What, what happened? So these were a massive stone. And imagine this whole block here. And they were octagonal, actually, all made out of stone. They weighed about 12,000 pounds. They were sitting on a two by four wall <laughs> with a piece of quarter inch angle iron on the bottom of oh them. Oh my gosh. No drain plane, so the steel was rotten out. The two by fours were rotting. The chimneys were leaking. And there are 12,000 pounds of stone teeter tottering on this, on the way high one over there, and then the other one over here. Yeah, you got three big ones. So we call the engineer, the engineer says, well, there were supposed to be masonry from the ground all the way up. CMU. And I'm like going. They're not. Well, they're not. And he goes, well, we got to do structural steel. Well, the client did not want to tear up the inside of the house. So we started looking at structural steel. We were looking at a minimum of seventy-five to $85,000 to have these things redone. Yep. And that's just the steel part of it. Not to mention, in fact, taking down the masonry and then putting all the chimneys back up at about yeah. 20000 a piece. So, you know, it's a huge change order. So I put on my thinking cap and I went, we got really good copper guys. Here. Yeah, I mean, your copper gutters, your yeah. copper flashings, Everything your accessories copper. are so, just top notch. So why don't we look at doing them out of copper? Holy cow. So we were able to go back in, frame them, give them a really nice rigid frame. And the great part about it was we built them all exactly the same dimension, sent them the dimensions. They fabricated them offsite in oh, Alabama right? okay. and shipped them here. And oh, you're copper guys from Alabama. Yeah, wow. and from Alabama. And bam, that's what I got. And Holy I'm like, the client cow. is even ecstatic. They go, I like that even better than what we had before. And what do you call that pattern? What is that? That's what a is diamond it? scale. That's okay. what it's called, diamond, diamond scale. scale. You can do a fish scale, which actually is rounded, and that's a diamond scale when it comes to a point, but they all interlock. So they're flat panels that are interlocking, they're waterproof, they're, exactly. they're flashed correctly. Look at that pattern he's got on the, uh, I don't know what you call that, crown molding yeah, basically on Yeah, on, on the there. crown base. Yeah, and the, then the crown on the top, and then he's also got a copper uh, spark, arrestor. spark arrestor on there too. And yeah. well as he in, in, uh, integrated all of our lightning rods okay, into so, yeah, this. You so got we got have lightning, lightning suppression, which was one of the other things he was able to do. We have lightning suppression on our dormers. He was able to rework all our finials to make sure that they have the lightning rods in there. I mean, they were able to do a lot of things and hide a lot of sins that Client didn't even know he wanted until he, the house got hit while we were working on it. Actually, yeah, yeah. was hit by lightning, and, and you know every time you get hit by lightning, you have a lot of electronics in your house. Yeah, they're fried. They're fried. Yeah. And he's big time tech, so that's smart. Lots of money. What do you think the lifespan on this copper is? How long oh. uh, till this is? I mean, is this? Well, uh, you know, there, there's fifty years. Oh, um, at least fifty years on the copper. It's more like a hundred, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's more. Or like more. It's more like a lifetime thing. Yeah. If you take up with this slate, any broken slate and whatnot, this thing will last forever. I took apart a house uh, in Austin and built in the 60s. It had all copper gutters. And we literally saved the gutters and put them back on. Yeah. Uh, and the valleys were copper. And we reused every bit of that copper. So it was, uh, you know, at least 50, 60 years old when we did that remodel. That was made 10 years ago. Yeah. And it still is performing to this day, no problem. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it is a very expensive product, but if you can afford it, it's the real deal. Quick story on copper. When I was in Germany a couple years ago, uh, I was there for the Bow Show, and I went to the roofing supply house in Munich, you know, as if we just went into the regular roof supply house here in Austin. Yeah. And I walked by the gutter section and did a double take. All they had in stock were copper gutters. Right. And I said, hey, do you guys offer, you know, anything else? Do you offer, uh, you know, aluminum? Do you offer They looked at you else? like you were crazy. They did. They looked at me <laughs> like I was crazy. Like, why would I put anything else on? Yeah. And, and they're... The reason being was their houses there, they're used to houses that are several hundred years old, and they typically are passing a house down to a son, uh, to a daughter who gets married and moves in. Right. So these houses are generational houses. Why would I put something on that I know my grandchildren are gonna need to replace before I even die? Uh, and so yes, this is a precious metal, but 100 years from now, that <laughs> copper is still gonna be looking beautiful. And by the way, if we did a remodel and had to change it, 
It's also worth something. Yes, absolutely. They did scrap all the copper that we were on this house, and they did take that into consideration. Heck yeah, they're going to take all of it. Brian, amazing work as always. I'll put a link to Brian's company in the description, and you should go follow them on Instagram too. They're doing amazing projects here in Austin, Texas. Um, but if you're not currently a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.